I have APC wheels. This is amazing. Tight turns. Oh god. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> baby. Yes. <laughs> that was perfect. V8, not V6. Cross out. A game that should be more appropriately called Mad Max with Spiders that allows for virtually limitless creativity. Bro, my shit extra wide alone, <laughs> my guy. You know, just crush me. Now, I worry that what you've just heard me say is this game has a lot of creativity. When what I said was virtually limitless creativity. Dread, run from it. <laughs> Destiny always arrives. Oh my god. <laughs> That is disgusting. Grouse, grouse. Mr. Krabs, don't touch me. Knocking out the formal stuff, thank you to Gaijin Entertainment for sponsoring this video. Wait a minute, Gaijin like the people that make War Thunder? Yes, that Gaijin. Technically, Targum makes it, but Gaijin publishes it, so same people. So if the madness that you see in the coming minutes interests you at all, there is a link down below where you can try Cross Out for free on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and snag yourself three weapons or a vehicle cabin as a kick-ass bonus. Right out of the gate here, I swear that I won't drown you in millions of details or mind-numbing complexity because when you strip away the nonsense this game is about crafting dangerous vehicles and making them explode no <laughs> fucking way <laughs> <laughs> that's like a, that's like a movie scene out of the 80s like <laughs> You fall off a cliff, nothing happens, there's a small delay, and then you just explode. And in order to ensure that you're the one making the enemy explode, instead of doing the exploding yourself, let's start with the crafting part. Here in my garage, that is most definitely not in the Hollywood Hills, seeing as this game is post-apocalyptic, is where you'll craft a vehicle made up of various parts to terrorize the wasteland. The most important part, you might ask? Cabin. Your cabin is essentially the heart and soul of your ride, because once this thing is destroyed, it's game over, man! Game over! Parts based Static. destruction Great. enables longer lives that are potentially a lot more suffering, but you know. I'm At still least they're here, not fellas. dead. I'm still here. I am not dead. Kill me! You've got a seemingly endless supply of parts to both defend your own cabin and demolish the enemy's cabin, and it goes a little something like this. You start with a frame that unifies everything together like a skeleton, on top of which sits your cabin, and on the sides of which sits your legs. These legs can be in the form of actual legs, wheels, tank tracks, augers, or even jet engines if you want to pretend the floor is lava and hover above the ground while ignoring friction. Now this yes. is pod race. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, you've got hardware, like engines to make yourself faster, and generators to power equipment like big-ass guns that can punch crater-sized holes into other vehicles. Get them, Jello, get them! Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, baby. And you've got a plethora of scrap metal slash armor to beef yourself up, protect key components, and generally round out your vehicle into something that isn't a boxy mess that belongs in a dumpster. Hey, you know, I'm definitely feeling the aerodynamics of this bad boy. This could definitely work. You see? That wasn't so bad. Frame cabin wheels, hardware guns metal. That's pretty simple shit. Man, of course there's more depth to each one of these categories than what I've boiled them down to. <laughs> But I think you've got the gist of it. Joining a faction will help you unlock certain types of parts, like the lunatics with their sharp objects and the fire starters with their need to purge everything in flame, but you'll get the hang of that with some playtime and are welcome to change factions every 24 hours. Burn in holy fire! The most important point to keep in mind while crafting is that the more shit you put on your vehicle, the higher your power score and the higher level of matchmaking you'll be sent into to make things fair. That way, the game avoids matching dinky little pickup trucks with behemoth looking dread knots in the same game. The best part about all of this is that the game allows you to easily experiment because you can take a test drive at any moment while goofing around in the garage to see if your creation is gonna cut it. Let's come back, Damn, like this is a really, really balanced one. Oh my god, this might actually work. If you're garaging correctly, you should find yourself saying something along the lines of Oh my god, what have I created? <laughs> That's like the motto of any time that you go back to the garage. It's usually so bad, you just want to light it on fire. Like, what have I created here? My first creation was a blazing fast abomination that simultaneously launched four explosive barrels of oil that ignite on contact and torched anything that didn't retreat. I watched yeah. you scrag somebody. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This dude's about to get it. What? He's about to get it, girl. Watch this, Grouse. Watch this. 
I'll just get him in the corner here and I'll just pepper him with these. Yeah. <laughs> here we go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Which I then improved upon to make it beefier, more evenly weighted, and slapped on a spoiler to get my rep up. Yeah, you might think I'm joking, but I'm not. I come to play. This thing increases your reputation gain after battle by 2%, so you better believe I'm strapping it onto my vehicle. I'm coming. Watch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Look. All right. All right, dog. Oh, my God. All these barrels going down. This is going to be scary. Yes. I I think got him. I think it's disabled. This is so scary. My goodness. Yes! Doubles! 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 Oh my out. god, the fire and flames. It's like I'm playing Guitar Hero. Crossout even offers the ability to share your designs with the exhibition feature. So if you'd like to take this baby for a spin, you can hit up the exhibition tab, type in Liberator, because come on, what, what better name is there for a vehicle that takes a bunch of oil and throws it at people? And copy the design for yourself. Simple as that. L-I-B-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E After the Liberator, I tried out a jack-of-all-trades vehicle that combined decent speed, firepower, and armor, all in a balanced package and a game mode that sets you in three buddies against a gigantic leviathan? It's like a spider got into an armory. Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm s there's no- There's no way. There's no way. It's too powerful. Uh, why is this allowed? Why? That's a, that's literally the definition of local spider broke into U.S. armory, <laughs> steals every M249 <laughs> in inventory. Like, you see a spider just shuffling out of the armory. Hey, buddy, uh, what are you doing with all that 556? Don't worry about it. It's <laughs> a project. Don't worry about it. And was slammed with a realization that a balanced whip is not it. And it was all about specialization. And what better way to specialize than with a spider? Turn around, you cat. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop scuttling towards you me! You see this? No! I'm gonna eat you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna eat you. Get back here. Get out of my way. Fuck you. I don't want any part of that. It's so fast, too. It is! It's so intimidating. How is it that fast? I don't know. I get his guns first, and then they're just bone. They have no defense against the spider overlord. <laughs> That he is such like some... a joke. But there was still something missing because the guns weren't packing the punch I was looking for, so I ditched two of the legs, shortened things up, and made an insect with three layers of metal shredding maws. I'm just stacking on this dude. I'm eating him up. I'm chewing through all of- There he goes. There he goes. I told you it would work. Oh my god. Oh god, all of my melee's gone. All of my blades are gone. I'm just gonna have to crawl in this guy's face and hope that he can't see. <laughs> <laughs> it's working! <laughs> It's some it's weird working. mating ritual between some fucking- This guy's helping boy. out. It It is working, alright? Don't doubt it. Get oh back here. God. I want to get on your face. Ugh. It's like a fucking camel spider attacking our <laughs> men. Then I realized how easily enemies could outmaneuver me with superior speed and agility, so I added a harpoon to stab them, reel them into my mouth, and prevent escape. Alright, you are quite literally a missile shield right now. I'm not going to use you for any other purpose. Oh yes, oh, no. please come oh, here. No. Please duel me. Yeah, this is what I want. This is what I want. Yeah! 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 Holy oh. shit. <laughs> I gotta kill- I gotta kill a I mean, e that. doesn't have any legs and or wheels anymore on his backside, but oh god. So that worked out so well that I ditched one of the shredding harvesters for a second harpoon that made evasion that much more difficult for any prey trying to escape my jaws of death. Oh, I got god. him, I got him. Oh I god, him. oh fuck. I hooked him, I hooked him around six Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Yes! Yes, we got him! Honestly, Badger, your vehicle is the epitome of shoots tether line. There is no point in resistance. <laughs> resistance is futile. That's so true. <laughs> You're just straight up saying, as a spider, looking that other hovercraft in the eyes. Bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> Bring that ass here. No! <laughs> <laughs> and you could just hear, like, the... <laughs> like, just ready to chop and you up. In a low, deep ass, automated, like mechanical voice. Resistance is futile. It's like a dreadnought. Like when you're far away, it doesn't seem all that scary, but then when you're looking it in the face. I no longer fear pain. Oh god, please get me out of here. I don't want to be here. Things became a little dark once I strapped a flamethrower up top because the only thing scarier than having to purge a foul spider with fire is a foul spider that's about to purge you with fire. Oh, he's fucked now. He's grappled and he's on fire and he's out of here. I'm gonna eat this dude up. 
he is so totally boned. I'm just gonna gobble him up. Not even gonna set him on fire. Fine. There you go. Easy peasy. Yes, 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 yes. Get back here, boy. Mm. Then out of nowhere, I was slammed by the absolute ingenuity of this mad lad unique chili who assembled the most majestic crab I have ever laid eyes on. Who's got the Please. foghorn? Please. And what is this dude's feet? What the fuck is this? <laughs> What? What is you unique chili <laughs> doing? He's a flipper. He's, he's gonna flip them. You don't get it. It's genius. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. No. What he's is... like a battle bot that Let's flips see. people. And you like? I... <laughs> oh, oh my oh. god. <laughs> oh, he's upside down and he's coming. <laughs> Look at him flexing on everybody. No. Look at that. <laughs> Cash, have you ever seen a better example of mess with the crab? Oh, you get it. Look at it. It's like that crab that like he's got like two giant crab he's gonna claws. Slice your neck. And I felt inspired to do something totally off the rails, so I channeled my inner Gromek triple nine. And after much experimentation, be there any second. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <clears throat> After much experimentation, built a wrecking ball of a vehicle that double latched onto enemies with harpoons and swung them into the ground at speeds that shouldn't even be possible. See, that's pretty good. Yo. That's pretty good. Oh there you God. go. <laughs> there you go. Here, let's see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Despite the fact that was a team kill, that was amazing. All right, let's go find the next victim. It was a struggle fest getting it to work in public matches because most of the time you would just take your opponent to the moon in a mutually assured destruction. I didn't get enough slack. And he's way too heavy. There's no way. There's no... Or you would get your harpoons blown off and have no choice but to cosplay Team Rocket and blast off again. I don't know, it may be a little heavy. Get up there. Oh, not even close. He's way too dense. That's not going to work. You can have those harpoons. I'm out of here. I'm not going to survive this. I'm out of here. See you later, shitters. I'm going in outer space. Almost. And see, see, just when they think you're out of it, cloak up. And I'm right back in it, fellas. Who wants them? Who wants them? This might be the one. We got them. We got them. Come on, fella. Get up here. Oh, not even close. You got to finish the loop. It never... I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I no longer have harpoons. I have nothing to fu- I- I'm out of here. See you later, shit lords. I can't even do anything anymore. Look who's laughing. Given the value of teamwork in the game, I tried using the harpoons to launch a buddy into the enemy team, guns blazing with his lethal weapons, which can only be described as RPG spears. That's pretty fucking good. Oh my god. You get away from me, you goddamn hooligan! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get! <laughs> Alright, let's let's see you do something with your death sticks. You want any death sticks? Oh god. Oh you god. Want any death sticks? Oh god, hit all of those. Oh, my god. oh, oh my god. Baby. Oh, god. <laughs> You want me <any> <laughs> I think you got your uh, answer. No, it's it's pretty much uh, I have guaranteed one kill, and then past that it's a real crap. Oh, <laughs> and even though it didn't go as planned, don't let my failure discourage you, because I'm sure you can come up with something far more imaginative with the creativity the game allows. It's so disgusting. It's like a crab that is struggling to live that was born three times too wide and is somehow still surviving. If it makes what? you feel any better, I wanted to put thrusters on the back, but I couldn't <laughs> fit them on. That is so disgusting. That's an abomination. Why did they let you do that? Oh. You shouldn't give this kind of creativity to me. This is the things that happen. But it'll probably take you a while because some of the stuff that I've been cooking up lately is nothing short of Elon Musk level innovation. You better back up, boy. All right, you ready? Oh, hold on, the dog's ready. Oh! Oh, you know what I'm gonna do. I gotta go <laughs> <laughs> you just vaporized. You're 
fine? <laughs> You're fine. I'm totally fine. And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching. One final thank you to Gaijin Entertainment for sponsoring today's video. I don't think I've ever laughed more in a time period where I played a video game. Like, you should know, I keep a pretty rigorous abdominal routine, and even so, my sides physically ached from laughing this much at the ability to create things that are fascinating or horrifying. It feels like that's mainly a result of who you're playing with, so if you can find some buddies to boot up this game with you, oh god. Your ribs. Physical aches and pains from the laughter. I feel like Jello and Grouse owe me some Icy Hot or something. So once again, don't forget, there's a link below where you can sign up for the cabin or the three weapons as a bonus. And be sure to tune in next time when we go to the moon.